American pressure, Israeli military setbacks, and Egyptian negotiations for a ceasefire. Will we soon witness an end to the war in Gaza? It has been 34 days and Gaza remains under bombardment. The Israeli occupation has destroyed more than half of the residential buildings, sparing neither hospitals and places of worship nor schools. The occupation army has utilized hunger, thirst and darkness as weapons, penetrating deep into the heart of the Strip. But the question now is, has Israel achieved its objectives? And how long can the current war continue? Israeli reports suggest that Netanyahu's government seems unable to bear the devastating economic repercussions of the war in Gaza. To this day, they have been unable to achieve any of their stated goals following the attack on October 7th, whether it be eliminating Palestinian resistance factions or even gaining access to any of the detainees held within this trip. In addition to the economic crisis, the Israeli government is facing increasing pressure from the United States to reach a humanitarian truce and a captives exchange deal. But American pressure may not be the only reason to halt Israeli aggression in Gaza. Israeli newspaper Haaretz stated that the military developments within this trip are not as the Israeli army portrays them, which claims to have achieved significant successes in their ground operations. The newspaper added that the progress continually announced by Netanyahu has no relation to the realities on the ground. As for Egypt, informed sources confirmed that Cairo is engaged in intensive communication to reach a humanitarian truce in Gaza as soon as possible. This is happening simultaneously with the continued entry of humanitarian aid and reception of the wounded and injured coming from this trip through the Rafah crossing.